So knee in, toes in, heels up. Of course, the knees never go over the toes. Just little, just same, same, same level. And bring your hands together like holding a ball. Top hand connect with the middle dantian. Low hand to low dantian. So the height. So not too high, not too low. Breathing goes out. Breathe out, goes in. Normal. We need both breathing. When we're not doing much, the breathing becomes <coughs> normal. When we start to move, actually, if you start, let's say, balancing go. So which kind of breathing we're using? Huh? Okay, stand up if you're not sure. <laughs> let's do the balancing go, the first free move. More you can see that. Hold the hands. Okay. We do five times each. Uh, open hands. So, okay, sit down. So, when we do those move balancing go, which one is we're doing? Which breathing? No. Normal or reverse? No. 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 Yeah. Reverse. Reverse. <laughs> okay, how many people think it's normal? Raise up your hands. Normal just means you breathe in, goes. Goes up, uh, goes up. Let's try again. Wait, uh, normal. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many people think when we do those three movements is reverse breathing? Raise up your hands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, including me, ten. <laughs> <laughs> it's reverse breathing. Maybe in the beginning, your your breath, your breath, not prepare you. But how come? You see, it must goes in. <laughs> you can't do out. Up, breathing. So, out, in. It's reverse breathing. The beginning one, maybe just start to relax, still not sure. But once you start really focus on breathing and the movement, it's reverse breathing. And most of that, actually, yeah, reverse breathing. But sometimes it's, it's normal breathing. And sometimes when you, your mind is in somewhere else, or you're really relaxing, reverse, the change to be normal. The normal change back to reverse. But most of the time, and the movement, when you start to move, is reverse breathing. So, one is yang, one is yin. When you're doing normal breathing, it's yin. So, yin breathing, what does it mean? Yang breathing, what does, it, also, what does it mean? So if you breathe normally, what, what would the body? Um, 
more calm, correct? More calm, what, what else? Calm and what? Relax. Relax. Because it's soft, gentle. And when we do reverse breathing, what will happen? Energized. Spell it. G I S E D. Energize. Energize. And then, what else? Strong. Strong. What else? Alert. Okay. Huh? What else? Alert. Something more. Warming. What's that? Warm. Warming. Warm. Circulation Correct. warmer. That's yeah. Circulation stronger, warmer, because you're breathing stronger. Warmer. So sometimes the movement with the reverse breathing and make you warmer, gather more energy, bring up more energy. So, your chi is stronger. We worse breathe, uh, normal breathing, calm down, relax. Doesn't mean the chi is weaker, but release negative energy. So, the spiral, how big is it on the liver? Just, no. If the diamond is in the center, same with the second 64. So it's around the dimai. So the dimai relates to the liver. The center. On this one, okay. So you know like that. So at this center, so full circle. Yeah, pardon. See if you the acupuncture point here, is it on the edge of the shoulder? On the edge, so on the edge. Yeah. You touch it, you feel a little tender, that's the acupuncture point. Okay. The same as that. Look. You should uh, uh, move your waist when you make the circle. Yeah, move the waist. Move a little bit, but move too much. Okay. Follow.